briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the 1979 case of Wenner v. Dayton Hudson Corp., the Arizona Court of Appeals focused on the principle that tax laws should be interpreted in favor of the taxpayer, with any doubts resolved in their favor rather than the government's. The case arose when the city of Phoenix assessed a 1% privilege tax on income received by diamonds from agreements with retailers pertaining to maintaining specific departments in its stores. Diamonds challenged the tax in court and was granted summary judgment in its favor, arguing that the agreement was a license, not a lease. The city of Phoenix appealed this decision, claiming that the agreement was indeed a lease and therefore taxable under Phoenix City Code Section 14, 2, A, 12. The court examined the terms of the agreement, which explicitly stated that it was a license, and noted the absence of exclusive possession or interest in the property on the part of the retailer. Ultimately, the court held that the ordinance only taxed leasing or renting of real property and related rights. As the agreement did not involve leased property or rights, the ordinance assessing a privilege tax was not applicable. The trial court's decision, stating that Diamond's income was not taxable under Phoenix City Code Section 14, 2, A. 12. Was affirmed by the Arizona Court of Appeals. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsd.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.